me tell you about my best friend. He's a warm-hearted person who loved me till the end. People let me tell you about my best friend. He's a one-boy cuddly toy man. Welcome to our Johnny Drinks Taste Review. We get the question a lot. How do we compare the Johnny Drinks bourbon to some iconic brands like Buffalo Trace and Maker's Mark? So here we are today. We're going to be tasting them all. Why do we have three glasses? Uh, all right, first one glasses. up. Wait, let's, so they have to be all separate. So, oh. okay. Okay, first review. Johnny Drinks bourbon. I think I could review this one with my eyes closed. Mm. Well probably don't even need to sip it it's all you're getting okay we don't want you getting too crazy today. Really gotta, yeah. mm. it's, it's the morning here mm. yep i got it maybe we should maybe we should have ended on this one whatever you can edit it however you want yep yeah you're dripping it down the bottle here see this is not good you gotta let's you don't want to waste that wow <sighs> that's mm. that's delicious right there Listen, we're going to be a bit biased ba based on that. Sure, but let, let's talk about the bottle here, how it looks. How do you feel about the black glass? Because I think it's mm. it's crazy unique. It stands out on a shelf. Mm -hmm. You know, nothing too flashy. Um, Presentation-wise, I mean, look, we know the standard is the standard. 11 out of 10, you know, so we're, we're breaking that standard. How do you feel? When, I, when you say standard of... Of when people say, okay, scale, yeah. one to ten, yeah, you know, there's it's hard not to find. I think any bourbon or any of these these spirits that are aged, you know, four years plus, uh, that taste good. Um, th this price point's different. This finish is different. This is going to have some subtler, you know, what we'll say are the notes of, uh, of of the aging process. In this case, because it's finished in Cabernet, Zinfandel, and Grenache wine barrels that comes through just yesterday i gave this to some friends of mine for the first time and they were pleasantly surprised they really commented uh, one thing you'll know i think as you sip this is the smoothness yes. and the finish of it that's smooth it, it's it does not have a heavy burn that some of the other yep. uh Agreed. straight whiskey bur bourbons are going to have I agree yep so cheers still didn't give it review i you know it's a 10 out of 10 for there me i mean i just enjoy it that's it that's simple. johnny drinks bourbon 10 out of 10 Grab some today. Maker's Mark. Let's see. This is a cool, look at this. This in itself is worth buying a bottle. Just to be able to uh, peel this off, okay? And yeah. each one of these is hand dipped um, to preserve the spirit that's inside, okay? And Classic what? Maker's Mark. Was that wax? It's wax, red wax. It's red awesome. wax, huh? Yep. Okay. Just, oh. What's the taste here? Okay. Hmm. Wow. I can already tell this is gonna have a bite to it, just based on the smell here. What do you smell? What's the first thing? Do you smell anything significant? Bourbon. That's okay. for sure. That's a very talented nose you have there. Some sort of wood? I don't know. What do you smell? Uh, that I taste and I smell a hint of like vanilla. I taste a hint of certainly the charred oak, which is you know significant, you know, significant to any bourbon that's made and aged in the white charred oak barrels. Hmm. Now this is definitely uh, this is definitely a lot sharper. Yes, I was going to say to the alcohol burn that you, you what you say is an alcohol burn to your tongue. All right, so uh, I, I like this. I've always liked Maker's Mark. I think it's a great, um, certainly for the price point too. It's, yes. a, it's a great bottle you can share with people. You can mix it, cocktail mix it, and not feel guilty because it's not a super high-end aged bourbon, right? So I, I enjoy Maker's Mark. I was gonna say, it's it's a burn, but it's almost an enjoyable burn. You almost you almost like it. Um, so yeah, I love the presentation. It's not, classic. You know, yeah, decent taste, so. Yep, I enjoy it. Going eight out of 10. I would I would give it uh, probably a little higher. I'd go cool. close to you know, nine. I mean, Maker's Whoa. Mark is, yeah, I like it. All right, cool. Definitely. Cheers. Okay, and for review, we have Buffalo Trace. Nice. 
very, very sought after. I got to tell you, it was hard to find this. I don't know why, but three, I went to three liquor stores and two of them didn't have it. Really? Yeah. I don't know why. Well, let me tell you, while you're pouring that, this bottle, I think everyone should have a bottle of Buffalo Trace. It's it's historic in the sense that the, even the, the name of Buffalo Trace or the Buffalo Trails, um, you know, the buffalo, the wild buffalo cut, cut through the wilderness, if you would, and, and created these uh, traces or trails, right? And the pioneers of explorers always followed down uh, the buffalo trace the trails. And uh, much of what is now known today in where Kentucky bourbon is made is founded along those trails and the trace of that. So the limestone mm -hmm. water that this is made with in the heart of, of Bourbon, Kentucky, there's a lot of history about this that we won't necessarily go into. Let's just take a sip, enjoy it. But regardless, you have to respect this one. This is this is a really special in itself. Hmm. You know what? So this does not have a huge overwhelming um, alcohol hint to it at all. Yet it's stronger than both. Yeah, well. The smell is very different. Mm -hmm. And the taste is, is different. Not that it's stronger or weaker. Definitely a different it's, taste. It's softer. It's a softer taste. It definitely has its hints of uh, the same same process and, and the oak barrel and the aging of it. But I, uh, I got to tell you, this is, again, given the history of it and given the price point of it, you, you won't go wrong with the Buffalo Trace. This is yeah. something that, again, I, I'd Good say bottle. everyone should have. You, you have to have um, something that, that you're comfortable with drinking. This is a great introduction to it. Yeah. But I, try I, I've always ones. liked Buffalo Trace. Yeah. Yep. Going with, uh, mm. I'm going to go, honestly, a little better than, uh, than the Maker's yeah. Mark here. Yeah, I, I like it. It's a 10 for me. I, I enjoy it. Okay. Yeah, it's solid. Yep. 